Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So I felt like drawing today. Um, I don't draw as often as I would like to. So I was thinking for the new year, it would be fun to bring that back into my life and bring it back into the channel. And so I went on Twitter and also on the community tab and asked you guys, I just lost the cap of my... Uh. So yeah, I went on Twitter and the community tab for uh, YouTube and asked you guys what you think I should draw today. And so I got a bunch of your requests and suggestions. So I am just going to hang out and draw um, just because I just want to have fun. So if you guys are curious, I'm using Photoshop and I will be drawing on a Wacom tablet. Uh, and it's been a minute since I've done this, so I'm gonna be rusty. Um, and I'm just gonna try to get over that because I feel like that's my problem uh, with getting back into drawing and doing it consistently is I get frustrated because I used to be at a certain level and then I stopped drawing and haven't practiced. So, um, so yeah. Not saying it's gonna be anything crazy, but I'm gonna give him a best shot. So the first thing I'm gonna draw, I saw a lot of requests for this, and um, the first one I saw is from Sigil Seer, and it is a magical potato. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm starting off with the base of the potato shape. I feel like that's a good potato shape, right? So I want to bring in some like really, really fun colors. Um, I really love like purples, obviously, like purple lighting, just the kind of like Steven Universe-y feel. It feels magical that way too. So let's bring in some of those. Now I'm wondering, does this magical potato have a face? I feel like if it was a magical potato, it'd be, it would be alive. It'd be like the magical potato that grants you wishes. I guess I could create a story for him. This is the magical potato that I found while I was in my garden because I, you know, this is fantasy. I, I don't have a garden. I don't want it to be creepy because if I were to see this potato, I don't want to be freaked out. And does this potato have legs? Hell yeah, he has legs. And I think the potato might actually need like those little potato spots. Yeah, give it that potato texture. All right, magical potato, you're gonna need like a super cute face in order to not freak me out. So I'm gonna give you like eyes higher up on your head. Very approachable. It's a very approachable potato. Let's give you like a happier mouth. You're like a super happy potato. We're gonna give you like little potato freckles too. Magic is like just coming from her eyes. Sparkles. Okay, just like giving her eyes a little more depth to them. And a little more shine. Let's give her a little booty. Oh my, yes, little booty. You are so cute. She kind of looks like a bean, but I promise it's a potato. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I could take this really far, but I don't know how much I want to actually work on a magical potato. <laughs> well, this is pretty fun. Okay, I'm just gonna call it. There is the magical potato. There she is. Her name is Twinkle Tato. Because her eyes twinkle with magic. All right, so farting narwhals suggested I draw a farting narwhal. What's cuter than a farting narwhal? We're gonna draw that. Is that a good narwhal shape? Wait, but where's the narwhal's butthole? Questions I never thought I would be asking myself. I really do miss drawing. I just, 
I just gotta do it. So let's see, I'm gonna give you like a little purple. Purple color. Okay, this narwhal is gonna have a pretty magical horn because I feel like narwhals in general are just pretty magical. So, we're gonna add some magic sparkles. Boop, 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 boop. You're a magical narwhal swimming through the ocean causing a commotion. One of the things that I really miss, um, that I used to do a lot while I was in school, uh, both in high school and in college, I would just sit in my room and paint and just spend time by myself with some music. And literally I would just have these conversations and just talk to myself and create these like scenarios in my head and just play through them and like, I don't know if that's uh, if that's normal. I don't know if that's a feature of like creative people, but I know that my mom does talk to herself too when she is like crafting and making stuff. Um, let me know, is that something that you guys experience? Okay, wait, so this narwhal is gonna be farting, but he is going to be like surprised that he farted. He's like, oops, I was trying to hold that. So uh, we're gonna give him a big eye. <laughs> we're gonna give him a big eye and um, he like accidentally let it go in front of his other narwhal friends um, and he's embarrassed. So uh, let's give him a big eye. Did, oh, did I just do that? Give him like a little side mouth too. Wait, do narwhals, narwhals have mouths? obviously <laughs> and the horn okay wait i gotta move it i gotta move it we have to fix it okay that works this is why i love photoshop too um when i would paint um like traditional and drawing it's like ah oh, dang it i can't i can't just pick it up and move it Darn. That's really why I like digital drawing a lot. Um, I wish that I did more of it. But who knows? Maybe, I, maybe I'll maybe i um, start a series with you guys. If this does well. And if I have fun. I am having fun. Sorry if you guys can hear Ruby in the background. She's barking at the leaf blower outside. But I was actually thinking about doing a live stream where... Um, we draw together. Um, I've had it on my mind for a while, but I've just been pretty nervous about it because I feel like with live streaming, I get super drained because I feel like I have to be talking all the time. I have to be entertaining all the time. And I always feel super, I have a lot of fun doing them, but I feel super drained afterwards. So maybe if I just like chill and we just draw together, um, and have like a theme that we draw, that would be so fun. And I would love doing that. Um, I actually used to watch this live stream um, of an artist, his name was Bobby Chu, and he did that with his audience. And I was sitting in the audience drawing um, with him. So let me know what you guys think about that. I don't even know if, I don't know. It's a, it's a thought. It's an idea of something I've been wanting to do and I thought would be super fun to do together. Um, but I'm, I feel like I'm always too hard on myself. Like, I expect to do like these crazy art pieces, which I feel like um, kind of makes it lose its fun for me is when I when I hold myself to that pressure, I'm just like, ugh, I get stressed out about it. So I don't know, maybe it's just a thing I need to deal with. But let me know. Um, Narwhal's mouth is gonna be like, huh? Oh my God, did I just fart? 
All right, so now we actually have to make him farting. So if he were to fart, <laughs> he's in the water. Um, so obviously it's gonna be little bubbles. So like a bunch of little bubbles are like shooting out. All right, so there, there, there is the farting narwhal. He's just so embarrassed and there's no way of hiding it. You know, when you fart in water, the bubbles are coming from a very obvious location. You can't blame it on the dog. Okay, this next suggestion comes from Pandora's Loot Box. And the suggestion is cartoon Ruby dressed in a cupcake hoodie. Okay, I'll draw Ruby. I love my little Ruby. All right, cartoon Ruby, how are you going to look? You would have a ginormous head and a teeny little fur body. And your feet are really little. And let's say that in this hoodie, your ears actually flop out. So they have little ear holes for you. <laughs> All right, so Ruby has a tiny little black nose, but I'm just making it dark. And then her eyes are cute and beady, just like that. A little pupper, a little pup pup. Let's imagine the hoodie comes down like this. I don't know how this actually would work, but we're just gonna pretend. <laughs> okay, so that's the frosting. Um, and this is like the top of the cupcake. And so we'll like, I'll put sprinkles on it and everything. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cute. Okay, got the rough sketch down. Now let's uh, let's add some colors and detail here. Um, actually, let's just erase this inside. I always like to have my light source coming from the left. I don't know why, the top left. Um, but we're just gonna keep it consistent here. All right, and then we gotta get this frosting to look like super good. Frosting is my favorite part of the cupcake, by the way. Okay, that looks so freaking cute already. Let's add some sprinkles. Um, we'll add like yellow. We'll do like pastel sprinkles. We'll erase some of this. To give it more of like a dollop. <gasps> she looks so cute. All right, and then I'm just gonna outline and define these lines a little bit more. Nothing too crazy, but I think, I wanna say that completes it. That looks better. Pop quake is done! So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I, I didn't get through as many as I wanted to, but um, I gave myself an hour just to like sit down and draw and have fun and I don't want to feel rushed with it So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please let me know leave a like on the video and Let me know what you guys want me to draw next if you guys are open to a Like art live stream. I would totally love to do that um, But yeah, which one is your favorite out of all these three that I did? I think mine is mine definitely has to be Ruby. I felt like it's taking me a little while to warm up, getting in my groove, you know. As always, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. My name is Cupquake and I will see you guys later.